Okay, so these are the questions from uh, people. Uh, we got all set up here. Okay, what is your... Oh, is a hair under here? Uh, Greg Daves, Daves is asking, what is your most memorable flying experience? Just quickly. Well, I remember, I guess, remember the one I remember the most was when I was... Uh, had a baby born in the back of my little Aztec aircraft, six passenger airplane, the baby being born, that was quite memorable. I was quite happy with that. What year was that? 1970. 1970, baby born in the airplane. Uh, TL, TLM Haynes, which one is your favorite aircraft? Well, they're all my favorite. It depends which one you're flying that day, but once you're flying one, it is your favorite. It's like your friend, but whatever friend you're with is a good friend. Eh? And this one's pseudo, <laughs> highly unlikely, says, what's your favorite dog? And are dogs better than people? My favorite dog, well, my dog today is, is Patches, and by 5 o'clock at night I have to deal with people all day. Your dog becomes a pretty good guy. Okay, Jamie Taylor asks, what is your favorite thing about the DC-3? Well, the favorite thing about a DC-3 is you can feel it fly. It, and like you strap it to your ass, you, you got wings and you can fly it. You, you can really feel the airplane. Oh, and we got Ian Bottomley's brother here. Crispin Bottomley say, what was it like to fly the Lancaster bomber? Well, the Lancaster bomber is very, uh, very uh, unique in that I had two uncles who have passed who used to talk about the Lancaster when they were flying it. And, and so to fly it was, uh, was uh, connected me to, uh, well, actually to my favorite uncles. So uh, that was quite an experience uh, to fly something that they had flown and, uh, and made their, their uh, missions and got home. That was good, okay. Joe asks, what makes the older generation of aircraft so effective in the northern environment? Well, the northern environment is a lot of it's, it is not, in, it has the improvements of, of a lot of good runways and a lot of southern, uh, and people do re, re live in remote areas and they do depend on the airplane as a, as a means of necessity for their groceries and their travel. So their airstrips uh, lend a lot to this type of aircraft. All right, Jamie asks, uh, how many hours of total flying time do you have in the DC-3? And then how many flying hours do you have flown in your whole career? Well, I don't really have a log of it uh, anymore. Uh, we all kept log books till we had a year, which was 8,500 hours. And so I guess in the DC-3, after 40 some odd years, I'd probably have, even if I did 500 hours a year, I'd have 20,000 hours in the 3. And if you flew... Um, 50 years at 600 hours, I'd probably have 50, you know, I'd be 30,000 hours. But that's on the high side, I don't really know. Like, uh, a lot of hours count for lots, some hours, uh, they don't count for a whole lot. Then, Alan Jones, how many flannel shirts do you own? Well, being a politician, my favorite color is plaid. So yes, flannel shirts are plaid, so I'll, I'll own lots of them, as many questions as I've asked. Um, probably uh, 25 or 30 flannels. Sounds good. Okay. Naughty uh, Older says, is there a plane you have not flown and would like to fly? Yeah, I'd like to fly that AN-2, that, uh, that European Russian type uh, biplane, that big biplane with the big engine. I'd certainly like to fly one of those. And f last, final, uh, Megan, or Morgan Ma Mannery, what is the oldest plane you have flown? Flown. Uh, I guess it, I guess they're all of the uh, the early Norsemans were were of the late thirties, and I flew those. And uh, DC threes are all of the early forties. So I don't really have a. And my AN three is a nineteen forty two. And as a kid, I used to fly on uh, McAvoy's eighty two as a helper, and that was a 1937 airplane. So I guess from 37 to 45 is the oldest airplanes I've flown. Cool, well that's it. Well thanks for everybody. All the, I probably pronounced all the names wrong. Thanks for everybody uh, for sending in questions. That's it. Yeah. Well thank you Mike for asking. I'll have to uh, do it again with you. Okay. Thank you, bye bye.